My name is Matthew Courtney. In 2017, I was awarded a 2018 two-year fellowship with the Center for Emerging Visual Artists. I was asked to wrap up my time as a SIVA fellow with an exhibition in the SIVA gallery on Rittenhouse Square. The show was scheduled to open on March 10th, which it did, but due to the current pandemic, the gallery closed on March 14th. My sculpture humorously mixes my love of sports and popular culture with a deep knowledge of the history of art and ceramics. I apply my training as an industrial designer to a playfully transgressive approach to the medium of clay. My current sculpture is heavily influenced by my three artist residencies with the Dunhuang Center for Creativity in Lanzhou, China in 2015, 2017, in 2018, where I was invited to explore the material and visual culture of Gansu province. As an industrial design student in the late 70s, my instructors were often very excited about my sketches and rough models, but they were also somehow not excited with my final projects. The excitement and life of the sketches was lost in my execution of the final work. When I approach making my current work, I try to create conditions that are similar to the sketching I did as an ID student. Are the quick, intuitive decision-making I employ while playing lacrosse. I've been playing lacrosse since I was a youngster. I find a strong correlation between the way I play sports and the way I make art. There are rules or criteria governing both activities, but they are guidelines, not scripts. The uncertainty and the intuitive nature of the flow of a lacrosse game, the surprise occurrences and the way I would lose myself in the activity all parallel the way I make my artwork. I have a palette of molds that I start with that are generally derived from things I've seen in ceramic and art history or things that have a connection to my childhood. Sometimes something as simple as a baseball. The Push Me Pull You from the 1967 Dr. Doolittle is an image that resonates with me from childhood and has found its way into my camels. With my palette of molds in mind, I just start making. I have a general idea like, today I'm going to cast basketballs and maybe make a snowman. More often I choose a mold to concentrate on and I make a lot of copies of that object. An idea for a sculpture begins to form as I work. I change course often while making. I am also thinking about a feeling of funny uneasiness or a just barely under control chaos. Kind of like a kid who is having a little too much fun and is about to tip into a mini tantrum. Even after the work has been made and fired, I am still experimenting with how to present the work, which in turn affects the form and meaning. It generally takes me a long time to set up a show. I usually need a week when galleries assume it will take a day or two. The strategy I used most often for making work while in China was to pick out from what my hosts were showing me things that were common to both the East and the West, but that also had unique characteristics that tied them to their country of origin. I made things like a thermos, Sutra books, a replica of a famous local bronze horse,
and of course, the camels. Another strategy was to point out similarities in unrelated things. I felt the apartment buildings going up all over China looked like and had the feeling of the Buddhist stiles I saw in the museums. So I made an apartment building at the scale of a stele with the image of the Buddha pressed into the windows. Each of the residencies were for two months, so I had time to become immersed in China's culture and I was able to make a lot of artwork each time I was there. Each residency period culminated in an exhibition in the Lanzhou City University Design School Gallery. Various Dynasties feels like the summation of all three of my residencies in Lanzhou as well as being my final act as a 2018 SIVA Fellow. It's important to also mention my love of craft, its history, and its dedication to materials and process. I think there are examples in the various dynasties shows that demonstrate a high degree of craftsmanship as well as a disregard for it. I thoroughly enjoy spontaneously splashing glaze on ceramic and contrasting the dry richness of a clay body with some bright underglaze colors and a shiny glaze. I also enjoy fussing for ages over the details of a camel's face. People working and experimenting in contemporary crafts are not burdened with the need to be in the avant-garde. We have the advantage of having thousands of years of object making to mine and alter with our own visions. In a lecture I attended years ago, John Gill made an analogy between his art practice and driving down the highway. He's not thinking about going faster than the other cars or slower than the other cars. He's driving at his own speed. I don't see myself as being on the forefront of the art world, nor do I see myself as being old fashioned. I see myself as making what I feel like making.